All right, getting started. I wanted to try this on the color setup, the ACC alternate method. Um, look up between J and JJ for zero millivolts within a range of plus or minus 10 millivolts. Well, look where I got her. Oh, man. You just can't ask to get that close more than once. All right, automatic color control. I try to do the grayscale. Every now and then, this picture's still flickering. Oh, something, something's up. There it is again. Oh, oh no. Well, looks like my repaired chroma board may be failing. Just when I thought I was getting somewhere. Boy, I don't know how many darn videos this thing is going to take. Anyway, um, all right, let me turn these screen controls down. Like, here's the red line. But we don't want it that bright, just barely visible there. All right, let me get these adjusted here. All right, the colors of the picture seem a lot better now. Um, I haven't got it on a live broadcast to see, but just overall. But this flickering thing's getting worse, so I'm going to not do the convergence. I'm going to stop on that until I figure this part out here. So um, I want that done. And it looks like that's going to be a heck of a process on this thing. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But, as, at least as of right now, I think something's going on with that. My chroma board is flaking out on me. The color's completely dropped out a couple of times. But, um, but overall... It's a little wide too. I think it, it's a horizontal, and there's no horizontal adjustment anywhere that I've been able to read or see for the width. I mean, it looks like it's cutting a lot of the blue off and a lot of the white. That seems like um, should be in a little bit. The automatic chroma. I mean, I'm pretty close on my colors, but boy, is that bright. No brightness control on that. There is a brightness control procedure, but I'm not going to do that until this thing's situated. Because I think that could be down just a little bit. But maybe it's supposed to be that bright for an extra awesome picture or something. Uh, let's get let's get video on this here. And see what that looks like. So, can anybody else hear the vertical, like, squeal or screaming? Uh, CRTs, just all my life, is really being around them sometimes has been hard some TVs are worse than the others but I've noticed playing back some of these videos that, that made me the the camera picks it up really well too and having my headphones on uh, it bugs me uh, let me know I mean I'm kind of curious am I like one of the few rare people that can hear these things freaking screaming at you or what oh yeah I like that. That looks. That definitely looks better. Um, yeah, the automatic. That actually, that brightness picture don't look too bad. Boy, is that thing starting to freak out? I mean, boy, look at that. Now it's fine. It's getting a little too warm. I should get the thermal camera on this thing. See if something's baking. Waking bacon. Pancakes. Man. Um, what channel are we on? Uh, ooh, is that late already? That picture looks really nice now, except for that flakety part. 
like the colors and all that. I'm sure it wants it bright though, don't it? I think I'm a little bit on the dark side. It could maybe just be a smidge. You know, I'm gonna shut this thing off for a second. See what happens. Well, I think it might be heat issue. Had it off for a little bit, turned it on, and it was fine for a while. Now it's starting to act up again. I mean, a little bit's like 10, 15 minutes for me to find everything. Anyway, let me get this thermal roll on here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, there's a spot on that chroma board getting hot. That's the IC chip. That new one I put in? The puppy's getting warm. Interesting. Ooh, that resistor up here is getting hot, ain't it? Toasty. Ooh. Well, that one that was smoking that one day, huh? Woo. Yeah. Get some cold spray. I've tapped on it. I mean, it acts like it's a loose connection. But I've tapped on this thing and whatnot and haven't got to do anything. All right, well, I shut it off as I was figuring this thing out. I wanted one I can point right at it. Wow, waiting on them Q-tips to freeze in there. Came up with a little idea, maybe for that IC. So I sliced off a little piece of a heat sink to stick on there. Just gotta figure out how to keep it on there, I suppose. But, I don't like that thing getting hot. Probably not what the problem is, but longevity-wise anyways, right? So, you know, I don't know. I bought a really nice flat screen television a few years back. And I like it. But, you know, unlike something like this, where you buy the manuals and you work on it, there's, like, I love this set. There's, like, a certain sense of joy and appreciation that I have for this versus my nice flat screen TV. Anyway, let's go ahead and click her back on. The Q-tips are frozen. Let's see if this has that weird color boot up now. The camera might be weird, but my eyes should be able to tell. Oh man, that's flickering right away. Maybe it's not a heat thing then. This thing's been off for a little while. Well, that's a shame. Well, I don't know what is causing that. Boy, I'm at a loss. I might poke around at it for a minute, see if I find something and report back. I went ahead and pulled all the boards on this side and cleaned the pins that and that they seat on and crimped the little crimpers down so it's got a good snug fit. We'll see what that does. Oh, not high hopes here. Let's see. Was it just a loose connection like I thought maybe originally? Like three hours ago? Well, I'm going to let her play for a little bit. We'll come back to it. I always thought I was well, it's back. Yeah, what is that? Hmm. Wherever it is, it's about to go. 
Ooh, 4K. There we go. This might be a part six or five or whatever is next.